Long, long ago, there is an old mansion. In the night, you can always see a light on through the round window. You can't find any record about the previous house owner, as as if he would vanished. So, I decided that night to dig the truth on my own. As I was close. Closer to the house, suddenly, <laughs> shut up! It's just a story. God, I know I'm still baby scared. But you know what day is it, the right? Halloween day? What is Halloween? Well, I say, if you don't have a lot of guards, you will not be safe even in the toilet today. But you told me we were coming to see a Hollywood movie. Yes, a Halloween movie. The whole movie. Okay then, it's your fault. See your terrible, terrible English accent. Now my business. <laughs> well, kiddo, I'm fine. Seems that we can't talk about the movies. But I guess how about discussing those horrible myths or fears all over the world for Halloween today? Since you know. In what is an international game? Um, you mean Ghost and Monster? Maybe no match with Cumin World. <laughs> Admit it, you're just scared. First, let's talk about Halloween. Barry, have you any idea of Halloween's origin? Yes, one day a man was killed by a drunk pumpkin, turning him into a pumpkin ghost. When it comes to live lives on the day of his death, and then stop, stop! Your explanation is more scary than a savage <laughs> suddenly showing up behind me in the night, yelling, "You saw you!" You know, Halloween was originally created for celebrating summer's end in Celtic area. People believed on that day that death would bring back their evil ghosts. The living hands lit bonfires and murdered them. In the next century, this festival got fused with Asian Romanian cultures and Christianity, and that's the Halloween we have today. Therefore, Halloween is a festival for commemorating witches, ghosts, and pumpkins. Speaking of that, many of you confuse Halloween with All Hallows Day. Halloween is actually short for the Eve of All Hallows. Please remember that. Next, we are talking about Asians' horrible myth. Barry, do you know which Asian country has the best horror movie? Ah, I know, Thailand. So, in Thailand, one of the most known images is Gumang Thong. It's originated from a practice of necromancy, serving as a charm to bring good luck. The ingredients of making Gumang Thong are the real child remains. They are usually divided into two types. Enough! We can't continue this, or the video would be banned. I got goosebumps. Yeah, you're right. I don't tell more. If you guys are really interested, just take it out by yourselves. What happened? I I'm terrified. Hug me back. By this cool, cool face, looks you're not. What? Please, that's because I'm wearing this stupid headgear. In fact, my face has turned to pear. You want to have a look? No, I guess not. Okay, now switch to other Asian countries. Do you know Vietnam is famous for numerous haunted houses there? I know to you the most known for and the address is there are number 138 Han Chau Road in Hanoi, number 300 Road Kimma in Hanoi, the famous double winner in Phuong Tha Lot, and number 24 Road Li Tai Tu in Ho Chi Minh. People around these sites either see the victims who die there appearing, crying, or looking outside, or tell that the ghosts would even hurt the living. For example, it is said near that villa in Dalat, a young girl would ask the passing by cars for picking up, but it usually ends with an accident. Well, nice tips for those who want to travel to Vietnam but don't want to get involved in supernatural things. However, young friends, don't fear. You must believe in science. After all, if the ghosts really exist, they would have been confirmed and discovered. Why do we call them myths and superstitions? 
To be honest, if those ghosts have my looking as cute as me, I wouldn't be so scared. Fine then, I'll tell you some myths without ghosts, okay? Do you know in Latin America, there's a household vampiric monster called Chupacabras? Mm -hmm. Chupa... Chup, Chupapapas? No, it's Chupacabras. It literally means blood sucking and goat in Spanish. It is reported the monster looks like this. I poor puppy. No, the monster got sharp teeth, red eyes. It can walk like a human or even jump to six meters height. Moves fast. The most creepy thing is it can suck blood with a needle shaped thing on its tongue. From 1995 until now, the witness report of Chupacabras have been more than 15 distributed over all Latin America from South Jose to Chile. So, was it exactly? Lots of explanations. Scientists say it might be a coyote or wolf with a serious scurvies, a type of skin disease. Others say those reports are just learning forms, which means many people regard ordinary white life as chupacabras. Still, this creature is considered as unidentified. Since there are many witness reports that we can't explain, even there are rumors that chupacabras is liable to an animal and even an alien. I think it is a vampire. Vampire? Speaking of which, have you met the new member of Mini World Family, Joker? Well, welcome to our new crown friend, Joker! Mm, good, the show is over, let's send him up! Farewell! Bistra, I just found we've had almost all the Halloween elements for the skins witches, pumpkins, vampires, and clowns! But they're too cute, nothing scary. Like the crown this year, you know, I have crow phobia. But to me, it's cuteness totally slays. <laughs> After all, cuteness is above them all. I'm thinking when we run out of Halloween elements, what kind of Halloween skins we can make in the future. In my opinion, um, it doesn't have to be of Halloween elements or any other horror or bizarre things can be used. Oh really? Then how about you guys telling us what kind of skin do you expect in the next Halloweens? What monster, or ghost, or creepy creatures do you want? Just turn them into mini world style. Comment below, maybe next year your favorite one will be our skin. Misra, are you afraid of something like monster? Of course. Have you heard of Slenderman? It's in fact a fictional horror image created in 2009. Ouch! <laughs> what the f- Back to Slenderman, this creature has extremely long body and arms, very unnatural, he's faceless, no feature, no expression, he's always in a black suit with a black tie, living down deep in the forest and would suddenly show up in front of you. Oh, hold on, I just thought if we make a skin out of Slenderman, what would it be like? <laughs> this? This? What that? <laughs> Come on, I don't think players would want it in our game. Well, why not let our players do a wine game? Recently, we just have an update for miniature action edit function, you remember? So what about making a Slenderman using creature miniature and any other function? Just freely use anything you want. Freely? You are not afraid of that they put a face to Slenderman? You mean this face? Adding it could be nothing but more panic, trust me. It may look scary. Anyway, remember, after you finish the creation, comment below with your UID and the name of the map. After one month, Dr. Mr. which is me, will pick up top 10 best landmark maps to send mystery games. He lies. He will definitely send you a real slam. What? You are not scared at all now? Whatever friends from Mini World, you must trust in science. If you really feel terrified, just lock in Mini World now to play with those cute things. It's true, see? I'm so comfortable now, not that scared. Hey, Miss Ra, can you accompany me to the toilet? Fine, let's go. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Click on that button. If you don't do that, I will turn myself into a Enough! Go!